In the last 24 hours, 11 people, including nine from the same family, died during floods on the southern Italian island of Sicily. Katie Silva has this report. It was in this house near Palermo in Sicily that a family was all but wiped out. Nine people died in the incident, from children aged 1, 3 and 15 to their grandparents. It happened when a small river nearby burst its banks. It's not a good situation. It's something we never would have expected. So much rain in Casteldaccia. On the other side of the island, firefighters recovered the bodies of a man and a woman whose hire car was swept away by a flooded river. Another man's body was found in his Jeep. While rescuers are looking for a missing doctor who is en route to the hospital to start his shift. Rescue teams evacuated many families from the Agrigento area. We can't go into our homes, she says. Someone lent me clothes. I don't even have underwear. We are devastated. I am speechless. Italy is reeling after heavy rain and gales have hit large parts of the country over the last week. Many have died from falling trees, while a German tourist and an 87-year-old woman were struck by lightning. Near the northern city of Bologna, torrential rain caused a massive landslide, blocking a regional road and cutting off a number of towns and villages. In the region of Veneto, which has borne the brunt of the damage, authorities believe it will cost 1 billion euros to repair and 100 years for the forests to regrow. The destruction has been widespread. All of these regions have been hit by bad weather, from Veneto and the Piemont regions in the north to Sardinia and Sicily, which has been the area most affected in the last 24 hours. The danger now appears to have passed in the northeast, but authorities in the south and northwest are bracing themselves for more wild weather to come. Italy's Civil Protection Agency describes it as one of the most complex weather situations of the past half century. Katie Silva, BBC News.